Hi, this is Steve Rothstein from Rothstein Model Trains. Last month we told you we were going to start the process of moving our layout and rebuilding. And we actually made a lot of progress on it, a lot faster than I expected. I wanted to show you what we did. Uh, to start with, we cleaned out Chris's shed. He had some stuff in here that we took out and we're taking it over. First thing we did was uh, bought the lumber and some stone and uh, rebuilt the flooring on it. Then last week we bought the lumber to build the shelves for the layout. We're going to have a shelf layout here as you can see and we'll show you in a second. Um, first we've got Chris going to show you how he works really fast. Uh, and he really did because he got all this done in a week. Built the framing up, screwed the shelves into the wall, have some of the stands. We're almost done with building the shelving. Just bought the paint. We're going to paint it all flat gray. Bought the uh, foam. But this will give you an idea of the layout. Starting on this side, this is 30 inches wide. It's going to have a loop at this end, and that angle just cuts off where the uh, door will open up and give us room for the loop. We're going to have uh, a freight yard down at this end. On that side we're going to have a couple spurs come off so that we can service some industry. Come down here a little uh, and the freight yard will match up and we'll have a passenger station in it. We're going to have this is going to be the city. It's going to be probably close to 10 feet long area for the city. We're going to have the travel layout running in the center. It's going to be tight, but we're going to have that. Come around here. This is where we're going to start transitioning out of the city at the end. This is 24 inches wide shelf. Uh, we're going to have the mountains ending down here, coming out, maybe a tunnel. I'm not sure yet how we're going to do that. But this is our transition area. And then we're going to come over to this 18 inch side and this is going to be all rolling planes um, and mountains. We're going to have some elevation changes because we like to do things like that and just having that flat was boring. We may do a little bit of elevation changes on the other side if we can, but it won't be very significant changes there, more like a rolling hill type of thing. One of the things we're still not sure of is the final layout. We were talking about whether we want to have the tracks cross over here in the middle. We're going to have a valley cut here, mountain on one side, valley between them. Uh, we may have the tracks cross over and we may keep them where they're going. So this is a quick update showing we are making progress on it. I expect next two to three weeks we will actually have some trains running in here, not any of the layout done, just laying out track posts. I don't want to go that long without running the trains around. But we're going to start and try and get at least some of the loop laid out temporarily so we can get it working and see how things are going. That's where we are. That's the update on our status. And I appreciate any of you who are interested. Any comments or suggestions will be greatly appreciated. Thank you.